James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's July 5th, 2023, 3.45 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had another Earth-facing M-class solar flare. Not a very strong one. It was an M-1-class solar flare, but it's definitely Earth-directed, and I wanted to be the first to give you the information, and I wanted to take a look at it and see if it's going to create a coronal mass ejection that would be inbound towards Earth. Taking a look at GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, GOES 18 and 195 angstroms. It seems that they're showing us the actual star without the haze that they've added recently in a few frames. We'll take a look at those. But what I wanted to show you all, it was a much bigger flare than an M1, but luckily it looks like it was created by sunspot AR3354 that's just about around the western limb now. Now this, in fact, could be geoeffective towards Earth as we've been affected by X flares on the back side of the sun and also like this one, around the limb of the sun, but the probabilities are not very great. I will show you all what the sun looks like without the silly haze that they've added to Soho and Goes over the last six months. We will also see if the X-rays hit the planet, because we know that they hit our Go satellite that only orbits about 150 miles above our planet, the sun being 93 million miles away, Per mainstream science, here's the first area you're able to see there's a lot of coral holes on the North Pole that don't show up here. And it looks like we might get another look here. You can see those same coral holes that don't show up because of the haze that they've added here. Especially on the first faux pas here. Get a very good look at these dark filaments up here and a very good look at what the coral hole situation is really looks like. It's unbelievable that another government agency is hiding the truth from Americans that pay for their equipment and pay their salaries. As everyone can tell from our GOES x-ray model, we're maintaining a strong sea flare. We've also had two spikes with large sea flares, both M-shaped, as you can see there. And this will be, there's the other one, and this is going to be the 1900 UTC M flare. Now, it's not as strong as some of the M flares that we have seen, but in fact, the X rays did hit our D region absorption prediction center, which is our lowest level of our magnetosphere closest to Earth. And there was radio alternation problems. This was at 1900. Looks like it peaked at around that time right over the United States of America. So if y'all had any problems with any equipment, it could be due to this. Here are the two M-shaped sea flares. And as you can see at 1900, we're looking at that M1 class solar flare, probably much larger, but most of the impact on our ghost X-ray flux satellite here was probably shielded by the limb of our star. God bless you and yours. There is a good chance this could be geo-effective towards Earth. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World. God bless you guys.